after last week's chapter or whatever week it was or if it was a couple of days ago, I felt the need to do a live reaction because I'm so cynical and good God, CEO Cujo. Oh, I don't even think his last name's Cujo. <laughs> but CEO fucking hell, the thirst is real with Fuga 2.0. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I see. So Kari Mogi came to see you too. Yeah. He told me about Panama's past and he told me flat out. Oh. Your voice is frail and light. If you continue as you are now, your voice won't ever stick in people's minds. Frail and light. What? I don't understand. That's probably what Ichigo was. Oh yeah, that girl I was talking about when she said my voice didn't stay with people. She said that. But no matter what he says, it's my voice. It's not like I can do anything about it. Ah! Oh! Okay. From the beginning of the chapters, you know, cover page, the way she have done that is <laughs> fucking naked! My singing is all I have, and I felt like it was being completely rejected. Then I started feeling really scared. Will you finally come together? Well, and I mean the band. Wait, uh, sorry, I know telling you this won't do any good. No, uh, it's okay. Come on, you! I feel kind of lucky that I got to see something rare tonight. Huh? I mean, I've never seen you looking unsure and crying like this. Oh, God, the rage is coming. Oh, never mind. Oh, she is fully clothed. Thank Christ for that. And actually, I wouldn't mind, you know. <laughs> you always look so confident that when on the stage. It's kind of funny that you'd cry over something like that. What? People keep telling me I have no visual appeal. Imagine how much I'd cry they how how much I'd like to cry. Yeah, but to me to be to yeah, but to be told my voice is frail and light. Right now, that's all he said, huh? <sighs> he sashi sanely for the assassin and said the same thing to me, so it's fine. I have no visual appeal right appeal right now. Come together. <laughs> but if you think about it, maybe that just means I can change. Fucking hell, you! I felt like that's what he was saying. No! So what we need to do now is work our hardest at what we can do. And as much as we can, show our listeners what's in our hearts. That means dog shite! And, oh, hello, Fuka, what are you doing? I know that. I only came to see your miserable face after you got... This by Mogami san. I only cried because my tea tasted so gross. Don't get the wrong idea. Oh, don't. A Tsundra is unbecoming of you. Uh, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> I would say sorry as well because I'm that much of a thug. <laughs> so, what are you going to do exactly? Do you even know what you should do to try your best? Well, for starters, tomorrow. Let's go see the the genius producer. I swear you had to go running your mouth, didn't you? I despise her. They pissed me off. You despise. You pissed me off as well. You mugging twat. They just wanted to do their own thing with no concern for what you've been through. Are you in any position to say that? <laughs> I took responsibility for my actions. And I took responsibility for mine. That's all there is to it. You don't need to worry about me. God, he is thirsty for those melon titties. But what comes next is their job. I won't hear any whining or excuses. If they screw up at the festival where they insisted on appearing for their own selfish reasons, I'll make sure they take full responsibility for it. <coughs> Still, 10 million yen each. There's no if about it. If they enter as they are now, that's what will happen. You may be right. Why don't you give them some advice as a genius producer? Then maybe they'd have a slightly better shot. Huh? I see no obligation to do that. What? What? 
The you're their management. They're literally under your care. Please don't look. Please don't look at me like that. Yeah, look at her like that. Oh wait, was you, was you, were you saying that because she's looking at you like that? Oh god, you grow some balls. Um, do you have a moment? Oh, it's the girl I can't remember. Haruna San and Iris San are here. They wanted to talk to you. They've already come crying, huh? Fine, send them in. Well, Fuga was crying. Well, what do you wish to say? Uh, <clears throat> we're really grateful to you. What? What's that gonna do? What's that gonna do? Huh? We hadn't thanked you yet for all that you went. What? We haven't thanked you yet for all that you went through to get us into the festival. <sighs> we'll do our best to improve where we need to. We won't put on a show that'll disgrace you. Well, tell that to the, your crying wallets. Uh, you came here just to say that? Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little curious about it myself. That's all! What? Where are we going now? Sorry to intrude. Yeah! Yo, no, you're not Twatka. You're Margami. I can't make a, uh, <coughs> a name out of yours. You're not going to ask for advice? Don't you realize what it is you should be doing? For now, we're going to practice. That's all. Is he insane? <laughs> what? I was sure you were going to ask her. Ask her what? How I can fix our weak points. I'd like to, but I think that's the wrong approach. And how is that? Oh, these people. And above all, I couldn't do something that pathetic in front of Mogami. Uh, fair point. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's oh, I like the way he drew Fuka there. Want to try asking a hedgehog member then? I thought about it, but I think they were leaving to take the tour overseas. Wait, what? What about their second concert? Then maybe the owner of that. Performance space you know so well. <clears throat> nah, I think he'd just yell at me. <laughs> Wait up. There's something I want to give you. Oh, it's you. <laughs> what is it? What is it? Why the rush? It's urgent. Well, here. To help make up for your weak points. What? I came up with some for you to practice. Yay! Thank you, plot device! Huh? Make sure you do that, okay? I thought hard to come up with it. Oh, no wonder I can't remember a name. Hinokami-san. Hinokami-san. Is this really wise? Following a novice, novice's practice plan. I think we can trust this. Wait, wasn't she the one that got you more people, you, in, you insufferable little twit? You think so? Hmm? Because this smells like the perfume that President a mayor always wears. What? Okay, I'm confused. Oh, feck, it ended. Back in the teak. Okay, then, this chapter was filled with annoyance, not gonna lie, but at the same time, I... <coughs> I did... I failed to notice the never judge a book by its... Cover. My cynical side went into full overdrive. Well, again, this is a romance manga, but at the same time, I do feel like you isn't going to get with anyone. Granted, he did say that, but obviously that could change over time, but... <coughs> if he does stick to that, then I will actually respect... Um, him. Uh, for doing that. Yeah, you can call him, you know, like... Uh, well, I suppose some people will feel cheated by that, but to be perfectly honest, if that is the case, I wouldn't, because, like, well, anyway, that's something in the future, but I feel like I need to say this. Um, some people may feel cheated if he doesn't go with anyone, but at the same time, he did go with someone, and for him to say that, he must have loved Fuka really, really much. Very, very much, rather. Uh, yeah, I respect him for that. Anyway, on to the chapter itself. Um... I want to bash these two guys' head together. Why? Because... <clears throat> okay. Fuka doesn't have a impact in voice. It doesn't stick. 
you, but she has the appeal. She gathers the attention of everyone on stage, and she captivates them. The weakness is her voice. You... Oh, uh, God. <laughs> you, I'm assuming, <laughs> has an impactful voice. It sticks with people. Um, it's memorable. And um, we've seen the reactions of some, albeit they are a little bit more dramatic than some, but I suppose that's the effect of, you know, like, oh, God, this guy's voice is good, blah, blah, blah. But he has no appeal. He has no stand out when he's on stage. Fuka does. So why in God's name? I don't have a problem with them practicing. Don't get me wrong, practice makes perfect. What I'm failing to understand is why you and Fuka are like haven't clicked. Because Fuka doesn't have her own band anymore. That was the thing that was holding her back, so there's nothing NOTHING at all to keep her from joining. Yes, I know that you uh, you will say, like, oh, this is Fuka's band, etc, etc. Uh, we said that because of Fuka, blah, 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 blah. But if Fuka was alive, God rest her soul, if Fuka was alive, she would want Fuka 2.0 to, to join. Or she would call him an idiot and say, like, let her join. I hope she'd say that. I'm sure she'd say that. Although maybe there would be a bit of war going on and I spilt tea on me. Oh god, at least it didn't spill on my, bo my bottoms. Ah. Anyway. Um. <sighs> so there's that. I mean, I might as well tell you the cynical side if I was going to be, Oh, something happened. And then, you know, like, you was just coddling her. Yeah, I don't... Yeah, the coddling is like, you know, it makes sense. But then, you know, there's all this stuff like, Oh, blah, 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 come from Fuka. <clears throat> Actually, that would have been a good test to see if it, it was right. But then once he did... Well, then again... If I said that and I saw the, a booty like that, or was, um... Almost smothered by Fuka 2.0's breasts, I, I would look like that. Oh no, I'd have to place that hand over the sword to make sure that it stays sheathed, or HIDDENLY sheathed! <laughs> uh. Uh, so then, um... Moving on from that part, there we do see, we get the um, section with Mogami and uh, Ayama. Nothing really that um, interesting besides, you know, Mogami's first for Melon Tits. But then, you know, you and Fuka come in, bowing and saying, you know, like, thank you for all you've done, blah, 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 blah. Which, to be perfectly honest, like, you know, some people would say that they should have done that in the beginning. But... Uh, from the way that they, she's been acting, you know, like, sure, when we get to the end of, um, you know, you know, like, them getting, um, well, I know, well, surpassing the novice level, shall we say, um, and then, you know, like, there's this grand scheme. I know it's a grand scheme. I can understand it's a grand scheme, but from her actions, I just can't tell if she's just, you know, like, taking the piss or whatever, or just using them and twiddling them as her little puppets. Perfectly on something towards more for later. But yeah. <clears throat> Ma Maugami, no. Fair point to him. He does that. Well, actually, I, <laughs> I just remember that. Fair point to him. He does actually say, why don't you do this, this, that, and the other? And, you know, she just gives him a death gear like, bitch, sit down. Because he is a bitch. <laughs> uh, but yeah. They bow, thank, and then they just leave. Maugami's like, are you fucking serious, man? Are you fucking serious? Why are you leaving? Ask for help! But I think that they're all a bit prideful. That's the thing. They won't actually directly help someone. And that is strange. Because she's a manager. 
A manager... Oh, shut... Sure, yeah. She has set a gig. A single gig as a test. But that's all she's done. Anything else, there was a catch. Now, normally, if a house was given like that, um, I will admit that the uh, first thing was a fair test. But anything after, after finding out who she is, I mean, like, why not help instead of being um, stuck up? Because that's what she is. Whatever's happened, she's just being stuck up. And I'm just like, what are you afraid of? Or what do you think will happen again? Is she like the person, like, you know, doesn't want, like, she bans grow, become famous through her, and then they just leave and forget about her? That would actually make sense. Hmm. I think I may have indirectly sympathised with Melon Tits. Oh yeah, anyway. Um, <clears throat> plot device comes in, but she isn't a plot device uh, at that moment. She comes in with a note, or an instruction manual, so we say, of how to improve on, her weakness, on their weaknesses through a Yama. Which is fair enough. Um, and obviously now it's just a case of um, next week. Uh, Furnishing out those weaknesses. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> that was Fuka Manga Chapter 86. Um, I will... Yeah, I'll see you next week. I'm, I, I am kind of intrigued to see what happens. Because, um, yeah. Um, if I was to rate this chapter, my voice would... My cr voice cr cracked like a bitch. Gosh, something stuck in my throat. I am. I'm trying to get out. <coughs> Do apologize. Um, I would give it an eight out of ten. It was very good, very entertaining for myself. And the only reason why I'm giving it like you know a little bit of higher because I want to give it a seven by one is because it actually broke the cliche kind of. Because like you know, like we probably would have found out. Well, actually, yeah, I know uh, some stuff have been like you know the. Uh, suggested that she hasn't, but um, when she said that, I immediately thought, "Oh God, what has your boyfriend done?" Yeah, I know. Now that, that was cynical of me, but still, I mean, like the cliche is strong with that one. You cannot fault with that. Oh, my boyfriend, this, that. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like if it's a major thing, then fair enough, I can understand. But like if it's like you know minor, like you know they've gone into an argument, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> Well, like, well, like, you know, major thing, you know, like, obviously domestic and cheating. Um, but anything else, the minuscule things, like, you know, he said the wrong thing, but it wasn't, like, you know, intentional, and so on and so forth. Um, not speaking for an experience right there, if any of you are wondering. Um, was on the other end before. <sighs> My god, I just went very personal there. <laughs> Backstory with Zaynab. Okay. 8 out of 10. Entertaining chapter. Um, really liked, um, you know, the interactions between you and, and um, Fuka. Um, but good God alive. Will those two just stop being stupid and get together? And by that, them in the band, not relationship-wise. I mean, like... If they do get together down the gut line, I'm not really fussed, but yeah. I don't really want Fuka to get... Yeah, Fuka? Fuck hell. I don't really want you to get with Sahara. I mean, no, I my nickname her Admiral, but for my sake, I'll just call her Admiral. Because the way fucking Kimmy happened, I was just like, oh god, no. No, CEO, don't do it again. So yeah, I'll see you next time.